Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just woke up, so don't mind the fresh face. <clears throat> but I decided to film a day in the life of a essential childcare worker. I haven't seen many videos on this. I've seen a lot of day in the life of nurses and day in the life of um, firefighters and stuff like that. But I haven't seen much of childcare workers. So I decided to do that and I'll take you guys along for the journey. So usually on my way to work, I just <clears throat> listen to music to get me in the mood because I'm not usually a morning person, so I need extra motivation. So I know all my people who aren't morning people understand what I'm talking about. I just need their music so that I could um, get motivated. Hold on, let me put on my seatbelt. Hold on, wait a minute. So yeah, since the coronavirus happened, we haven't had a lot of kids to come to school, which is understandable. So my boss is doing everything she possibly can to make sure everyone gets their hours or get as many hours as they can. So <clears throat> usually I go in around 9.30, but since this stuff been going on, my schedule has been fluctuating. One day I was going in at, well, one week I was going in at nine o'clock. And now this week I'm going in at 10, so it is what it is. I'm just appreciative and I'm grateful to be able to even work because I know there's some people out there that's not working. And my heart, my heart goes out to you guys. I'm praying for you guys and I'm praying that this whole situation is over with soon so that we all can go back to having a normal life. <sighs> so I guess I'll see you guys when I get there. So usually when I get to work, the kids are preparing for a nap or are already in the cribs. And during this time, I take the time to rock the babies who struggle falling asleep on their own and then clean and disinfect the toys they may have been playing with before I got there. So as soon as nap time is over, I change the diapers, of course, with gloves on and sanitizing in between each change. But I take the time out to talk to the child and tell the child what I'm doing before I'm doing it and while I'm doing it. Because sometimes we forget that children are human as well. I put an emoji over my baby's faces to protect their identities. You got some weird folks out there and I don't have time for that. Luckily, I only had two kids today, so filming this video was a breeze. Like I said, COVID-19 really has our numbers down. Um, we usually have at least five or six in this room alone, but there are also two other infant rooms that are not open. As soon as I get done changing them and sanitizing everything and washing my hands, I put them at the table 
to feed them their lunch. In between changes, you'll see me grab my iPad because everything that I do as far as for the child, I have to put it in the iPad so the parents can know when they come to pick up. And then that'll help the parents know what they need to do when they get home. I like this because I'm used to writing everything down. So with the iPad, it just makes everything easier. Now I'm feeding them their lunches, depending on their development. Um, you have some kids on table food while others are still on baby food. Each child is different and moves at their own pace. So after lunch, I put the kids on the carpet and I clean up the mess that we made. During this time, we play with toys and we sing songs and we read books. And usually this is the time when I do their art activities. But instead, I decided to go outside because it was a beautiful day. Usually when we go outside, I let them get on the ground, but it was wet because it had rained the day before. So I just kept them in the buggy and just let them feel the breeze and they enjoyed it. So in between clips, I had a break um, and my boss hooked me up with some chicken alfredo. If you watch my 20 facts about me video, you would know I love pasta. So that's about it. I put them down for their second nap, changed them again like I did the first time, and feed them snacks. And afterwards, their parents will start picking them up. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.